Halika Filterfish. They got this May Young figure and it comes complete with both of her children. He gave birth to a hand. Oh look, Selena Vega's back. That's awesome. But oh my god, Michael piece of shit Hayes. $40? That's a high price for a piece of shit. Just like this overpriced Undertaker. Top cost reviews. The funnest shit. Nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grim's Toy Show Action Inside a Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middle Store. Toy hunting here at the Towns River Toy Show, and it's loaded up with oh, wrestling yeah. figures that nobody wants. <laughs> the John Cena, Bella, Twin, Two Pack. These fucking dolls for the little girls that nobody gave a shit about. They got canceled in one series. And hey, what the fuck is this? Andre the fucked up figure? He ain't no giant. He's a giant waste of fucking plastic. That's what he is. Holy pickle shit fucking duck. You got these old Summer Slam son of a bitches. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's some decent fucking elite, <coughs> finally. We got, oh, look at the big boobs of Maurice. Whoa, wait a minute. This is a new fucking Tomahawk chopper right here. We got... <laughs> Tatanka. The Tatanka truck. <laughs> we got Beth Phoenix, Edge Banker. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> and we got, oh, look at Triple H. The Triple H. And then, oh, look, another overpriced Undertaker. That's $30 over here. It was $25 the other day. And look at these old assholes. Wrestling arcade shit with John Cena. Back to the big boobs of Maurice. Let's fuck around and find out what's over here. We got a bunch of butt figures put in bags so you can't smell the ass. That's how they seal off the scent of somebody's anus, by putting them in the bags. You know, loose figures, you never know where they've been. They could have been in somebody's asshole. I need to explain this to people. We got Yoko Sumo. There he is. Yoko's one of my favorites. We got Ultimate Warrior. We got that weird ass Andre the Giant. We got Jeff Hardy. You got Bailey Legal over there. Look at old ass. Remember Jack Superstars? Everybody fucking loved them. They spent a million dollars on them, and now they're like, nobody gives a fuck. It's like now everybody's all about Mattel Elites. Well, guess what? Ten years from now, <laughs> these are all going to be obsolete. <laughs> obsolete. Look at Doink the Clown under there. That's like the best Doink ever, but I thought the Jax one was the best ever until the fucking Mattel came out. God damn it. They'll probably have some ultimate shit next year. Look at these. Like, see, see, whoa, like, see, look at this. This was fucking 350 to fucking dollars. What are you guys, fucking shit dicks? 350 Oh, you know what it is? Those Hasbro figures are overpriced as fuck right now. Look at them. Look at them. They're all popular as shit now because dudes my age are out there fucking trying to reclaim the childhood with these old fucking plastic huckers that barely move. Zero articulation. You can't even play with the fucking things. They were cool on display, though. And, you know, now there's all kinds of new retro lines and shit. And, you know, Grim has all of these. I mean, Grim loves them, but... Give me some Mattel Elites. Look at these big fucking rubber dildo dolls. You can't play with this shit. As kids, what the fuck are we supposed to do with them? We fucking beat each other in the head with them. Like, I bashed the shit out of my brother with this. I never actually had a fucking match with the goddamn rubber JYD. What the fuck they got over here? Whoa! Look at these belts. FTW. Fuck the world. The Jeff Hardy belt. Wow, these all custom-made titles? <gasps> I need these! The ECW Tag Team Championships that were Intercontinental titles from WWE. Badass! Oh my god, look, they got bags of belts. I'm a belt whore. Everybody knows that about me. And then we got, oh look, old Uncle Kurt Angle under the, over there. Un Uncle Drunk Kurt. Oh, excuse me, you're a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a big bucket of bin down there, butt thingies. Somebody might as well just shit right in them. I mean, that's how they stink. All right, let's see what's over here, shit asses. Look it. We can take a big tour of the room. There's some Rick and Morty stuff. We have a big tour of the room here, and you can see this Scott Hall. Probably one of the worst Scott Hall figures. They were like R3 tech bullshit. Jack's really fucking failed at times, too. There. Thank God they went back to the Ruthless Aggression style, because I hate those fucking old figures. They're not even worth having. These are cool. See, Jax, old school Jax, but everybody's trying to get rid of them now. I don't know. Do people still collect these? Let me know in the comments below. Grim still has a bunch of them and likes them, so. Oh, but there it is, the Mattel Elites. Mr. Kako! Mr. Socko Kako! <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine? Look, we got Scott Hall. Eddie Guerrero. That was one of the rarest ones right there. What do they have over here? More Sasha Banks with the blue hair. There's some new ones, some old ones. A-E-Dub, hell yeah. The Brandalorian leading off the pack. You got a lot of young bucks in there. These are the version twos. So they just came out. And then, oh my God, look at this. These old Finn Balor's. You know, if you ever want to get excellent wrestling figures at a good price, you go to wrestlingfigures.com. You use discount code GRIM at checkout to save 10%. And that's 
what you, it's the best place to get the figures ever. Ringside collectibles. They always fucking have everything. Especially the new stuff. Oh my god. They still make these fucking He-Mans. These are so fucking bad. They're so stupid. It's a huckin' huckin' pile of bitchin' horse shit. Fuck it. Leave it on the shelf. $25 for a fucking basic big show. Fuck you. We have a $40 airplane. Fuck you. What's with all the Castle Grayskull shit going on? You gotta have like Triple H's warehouse. The Triple H Castle Grayskull match. I think we did that back on our old figure show like 10 years ago. Yeah, there we go. Oldberg, He-Man. Imagine Oldberg versus He-Man. <laughs> He's gotta be Kane. Kane just looks the same in the He-Man universe. <laughs> He's the same no matter what universe he enters. Ultimate Warrior. Same with the Warrior. He just looks like a fucking human He-Man. Street Profits, Viking Raiders, Joe Mo. Who the fuck is that? Stone Cold with hair? How the hell did that happen? Oh, it's probably a fucking flashback. People don't want to buy Stone Cold figures with hair. Imagine being all hyped to order the Steve Austin figure from that set, only to find out it's a Stone Cold with hair. And who's this? Oh, Karen Cross. Speaking of hair. Put a bad Karen haircut on that guy. We call him Karen Cross. I like the pink on Rollins right here. That's badass. And then we got, oh, look, Alexa Blissey. We got Bailey. Rhea Ripley, her clothes off. And finally, live. You only live once. <laughs> live, Morgan. <laughs> John Cena and the NWO. What a waste. <laughs> look at this fucking guy. He's the big street prophet, dude. Oh, look at We got bins and bins of bullshit butt figures down below here. And UFC, ultimate fucking cock. And then who the hell is that? Dan Seven? Uh, Rey Mysterio? We got old nuts. There. <laughs> <laughs> Gold nuts. Rick Flair with no jacket. Woo! I took off my jacket. Woo! Good guy of the ring. Woo! God, they got old ass shit show too. Look at him. And then we got Triple H and Unbelievable Boat Dumbass. Is that JBL or is that Ted DiBiase? Ted DB Crotch Rot. Who the fuck knows? Oh, look, there's a bullshit Christian. Oh, God, they got Jack. They got all kinds of butt figures in here. Steve Blackhole. Black man. <laughs> what the fuck? I hated Steve Blackman. He was terrible. He was one of the worst wrestlers in the history of our sport. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we got Super Cena here in green. We got, oh, Captain Lou Rubberman face fucker. And then we got Meth Hardy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Colin Delaney. He's totally insane. He cost a couple cents. Oh, orange ass pit sting. <laughs> Somebody phone up the fuckery department. We got bins of bullshit butt figures here. I don't, I don't look <laughs> and then we got over here. There's even, oh my God, there's even more bins. Holy sheep shit on the shingle. Who's this fucking Hulk Hogan ripoff? Never heard of him. Fucking oh, guy copied Hogan. Oh yeah, there's this uh, Bray Wyatt. Hi, baby, Mr. Bitch. <laughs> now he's the sex fiend. And then we got, whoa, look at it. Oh my God. I mean, Umaga. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another Bray Wyatt, another Vicky Guerrero. Holy shit, it's the same fucking figures over and over and over again. I guess people just fuck them in there. Oh, look, Razor Ramon! Oh, God, I hope he's not a butt, butt Ramon. People plug them up in their assholes, and then they put them out here in the figure bins for sale. But most people are like, ooh, these smell like poo. I wonder if they've been inserted in someone's ass. The answer is yes. Oh, look, an autographed Jerry the King Lawless. He minted package. Hasn't been up anybody's shit shoes. Thank God for that. And then we got... Let's see, Hardy Boys, Lita, China. You ever been to that location? A lot of Hardy Boys, yeah. Somebody must have been a Hardy Boy, Mark. And there's another fucking Stone Cold with hair. Billy Kay! Oh, Freddie Blassie. The Sex Fiend. Oh, here we go. Oh, look, we got the Ringside Collectibles exclusives down over there. Like that Cody Rhodes. We'll look at him in a second. I get around this asshole. Move out my way, bitch. Oh, look at Ted D.B. Crotchrod again. Seth Rollins from the Shit Shield. Whoa, a little school. Mr. McMuffin. Highway robbery for this old shit. Oh, look, the heartburn kid. There he is. Oh, God, remember this old outfit, WrestleMania 9? Oh, man. Like, like, oh, look, 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 these balls. It's diesel fuel. Load up the rocket shit with fucking diesel fuel. Diesel snow. Diesel ass. <laughs> he wrapped diesel around his ass. I don't fucking know. Look at all this shit. They got lots of Ninja Turtles and stuff. They got kinds of cool look. MJF. There he is. Major jealous fuck. That's what I call him. And then we got Orange Crappity. And then there, the Cody Rhodes. The Ringside Collectibles exclusive with the uncomplete TNT title that they're going to have to replace. 
soon later on for the TBS belt anyway. There's a table of stuff. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the one I was looking at earlier. They got the Zelina Vegas with his back. Oh, look at We got the real life fucking legend, Teddy Hart over there. John Cena. Hi, kids. Eddie Guerrero. Oh, and that guy with the cross on his stomach. And Bailey. And all the same figures we fucking saw already. And everywhere on the fucking table. $35 because Selena Vegas Matthew Bastard. Oh, people are pissed. $35 fucking dollars for a goddamn doll. Can you fucking believe this? What a world. What a world. $40 fucking dollars for Michael Piece of shit. Hey. Jimmy Hart is still alive. And he's still being awesome as all. And then we got the Mega Man. Mega Man, Macho Man. Why is he screaming in his ear? Stop screaming in his ear, asshole. God, he's got to be nice to the elderly. Fucking prick. Thanks for watching the video. Click this one right here in case you missed something funny. And please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow more. Nailed it.